Hey guys, it's Kitten, and it is a story time today. Oh my god. <laughs> This is the story time of the first and only time I ever used a Ouija board. I have never actually owned a Ouija board before. None of my family members have ever owned a Ouija board before. But as a kid, I was never really taught that, like I should never touch a Ouija board. Um, it was just something that never really came up, I think. Mostly because, one, my dad is super, super skeptical. He doesn't believe in any of that stuff. And then my mom is, is she believes in it to a, an extent, but she never really dwelled in it. Like, she knew Ouija boards were bad, but she was never one of those people that, like, told us kids, never touch a Ouija board, blah, 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 and, and stuff like that. Um, I just never, that never happened for me. Though, since I knew ghosts were real and I've always been spiritually sensitive, I was always curious, you know? There, there was always that curiosity. If they were real and if they worked and when, when this whole thing happened, this was after I kind of had that dream that I'll link in the I button. Uh, pretty much where I had that two-part dream with the with the spirit that was haunting me and then Zach If you don't know who those are There you go. There's a video watch it. So I think this was after that dream but I had not yet found out who Those people were and I hadn't found out like that dream those dreams were paranormal but I, I was in that kind of middle stage of like, I kind of knew spirits were real and I was curious about it. The Ouija board experience I had was not really negative in any way. It was actually moderately okay. Just so you know, if you're expecting some scary shit happening, it didn't. But it was interesting. And like everyone says, I honestly don't know if the other person was moving it. I wasn't. I think this was during a uh, sophomore year or freshman year of high school. It was me and this other girl, we were doing this group project and I still don't know what the group project was, I don't remember. I think it was actually me, the girl, and then another one, I think. I think it was three S girls. I'm not exactly sure. I just, I just remember the Ouija board event happening just between me and, and the one girl. Funny enough, uh, the girl I had the Ouija board uh, experience with actually has a YouTube channel. <laughs> She's the same kind of like me. She's uh, in that non monetation February twentieth type of shit. Shh, I'll put a link down to her channel below. You're welcome. Her name's Christina, and she's actually someone I've known since kindergarten. Yeah, kindergarten. We're not close exactly, at least right now we're not close, but we, we knew we were well enough with each other that we didn't hate each other or, or anything. Like, we just, we worked well with it together and we knew like each other existed and shit and how long we've known each other but we've never really been close but we ended up going to Christina's house and I found out that apparently she owned a Ouija board and I actually I remember specifically her saying that like her grandmother I think said like we shouldn't she didn't like the fact that they had a Ouija board and she didn't like Ouija boards and Ouija boards are bad and, and stuff like that. It was just interesting. And Christina asked like, do you want to have, do you want to play with it? Do you like want me to bring it out? And then me being curious and just, as shit, I was like, sure. <laughs> and, uh, so she brings it out and I don't remember if we properly opened the board or closed the board. I honestly don't remember, but 
what I remember happening is like, I remember we were upstairs in her house and we were in like this, um, how her house was designed. There was like up the stairs and then there was like this weird area, open area, a bunch of stuff in it. And then the, like there was other bedrooms upstairs. So we were in that open area upstairs. I remember we're sitting on the ground and we have it out. We're, we're doing something and we're asking if anything's there. And what happened was actually really interesting. Like I said, I, I honestly have no idea if she was moving it, but we ended up contacting a little girl. I still don't remember what exactly we asked her, but the one thing I remember strongly is how much, is how fast like the planchette, is that what it's called? The triangle thing. Um, how fast the planchette was moving around the board. I remember, like, remember it moving so fast that I remember my hand coming off of it because it was moving so fast. It, it, that, that was interesting to me. She was able to keep her hand on it, but like I said, I still don't know. I like five minutes of time, I don't know if she was moving it. I think she, I think I asked if she was moving it um, and she said no. I was obviously not moving it because it was going too fast for me to keep up with it. The, the one of the things that I found interesting was one, how fast it was going, but how much fun I guess that we were having with it. It was interesting because I remember when that happened, like I, when it was going too fast for me to keep up, I was just like, slow down, I can't keep up with you. And I think she, the little girl, ended up spelling out, like, keep up with me or something. And it, it was just interesting because, it, to me, the way this little girl was acting, was she was definitely just a little girl. Like, and she wasn't, like, demonic or anything. She was just... And it was a very pleasant experience. It wasn't bad or anything. And, like, I hear a lot of horror stories of where Ouija boards go, go wrong and and like they attract like a, a demon or something and I don't think that ever happened with us. There was actually that one time with the little girl and I think there was an, one other time when again we came over to her house for the same project but we had to like go a second day or something or it was the same day, I don't know. But all I remember is, again, we were using the Ouija board, but I remember specifically in her bedroom this time. I remember specifically that we were just talking and I had remembered, I remember bringing up the question of like, hey, maybe I can talk to my uncle. And for those of you that don't know, my dad's brother, Uncle Bob, um, had passed away when I was about five six five or six i was young i was i was a kid he had passed away by a i'm still i'm still not sure how exactly he passed away from it but he had his leg crushed by a giant metal pipe and i think it broke to the point where it ruptured an artery I think, and there was just too much damage to everything that he was, there was nothing the doctors could do, I think. So he was eventually going to pass away. And I remember as a kid, like this is definitely a kid's way of thinking. I remember my dad telling me that his leg was crushed by a metal pipe rolling onto it. And in, in the little kid brain, you think if it's crushed by something, you think the leg's gonna be like flat. I remember um, my dad bringing me into his room when he had his like, when, when pretty much I think the doctors made him comfortable enough to be home and to pass away at home. I think my dad, I remember my dad bringing me into the bedroom and he was on the bed with like the cast, um, this long ass cast on his leg. And I remember thinking in my little kid brain that I was, I was disappointed 
that his leg wasn't flat because it was it was like a leg it was shaped like a leg like it wasn't flat or anything and i remember in my little kid brain like that's is that is that supposed to be like that and i was just really confused by it because i was expecting a flat leg but no um that's not how bodies work yeah, I don't remember his funeral. I actually remember my grandmother's funeral, which is odd. For those of you that also don't know, all my grandparents are also passed away. Um, none of my grandparents are alive. I actually never met my, my mom's dad. Um, he passed away before I was born. And then my mom's mom passed away shortly after I was born. And then... I was never very close to my dad's parents because I was also the youngest. I didn't I didn't have a lot of time. <clears throat> I didn't have a lot of time to like spend with my grandparents because I was the youngest. I didn't know my grandparents very well when they were sound of mind. That's just the way my life is and how it happened. Um, but either way, end of story about my childhood and stuff. What happens is I pretty much ask, like, um, I think I remember asking my friend, like, if I could ask, like, a, like, talk to, a, like, a specific family member or something, and she pretty much, like, said, sure, you can, like, ask to talk to anyone, really. At the time, I was thinking of anyone who had passed away that I knew, and the only person that I could really come up with at the time was my uncle. We asked if he was there, and like I like like with the Ouija board, you still you don't really know who comes through exactly. Like especially with demons, they can lie and shit like that. Asked if my uncle was there, and like he responded yes. And um, I think I remember asking something specific or something. The answer came out correct or something. So again, I, I don't know if we properly opened or closed the board after those questions. And like I said, like it was, like I can't remember specific questions we asked it or like specific things it said back. I just remember specific little things. I'm really sorry, the story is incomplete. I don't remember everything. Maybe she will, I'm not exactly sure. She probably won't. If I don't remember it, she probably won't either. One of my questions like for her that I've always wanted to know was like after she used it, was there like any kind of like activity that was abnormal in that house afterwards? Because I don't know, maybe she she used it on her own time and something bad happened. I have no idea. Because the times we did it, like it was very pleasant. It wasn't very mean or anything and we didn't use it for very long either so I, I don't know maybe something bad happened that I wasn't there for that's something you should ask her because there's a channel link you're welcome <laughs> I'm gonna be honest I'm not surprised that she became a youtuber because she has always been kind of outgoing in a way she's she's never been like super outgoing but she's a lot more outgoing than me and she's a lot more sociable and she i noticed like the times we did make videos for projects she was always into it also christina if you ever watch this i deeply i deeply apologize for the shitty shittiness of making you be in my videos for certain projects for school Oh my god, I, I remember the videos we made, or like at least specifically a video for psychology, I think, that was a bit shitty. Let's be honest. <laughs> it was, like, now that I'm older and I like have editing skills, and I know actually how to film. I look back on those videos that I made and I'm just like, stop. You're so bad. Like, I, I'm so glad that I learned so much about filming and editing and shit like that because those videos were terrible. I'm so sorry. And I also apologize specifically shoving a camera in your face. 
Oh, that, it was, oh God, there's so much cringe. There's so much cringe of a lot of my high school videos that I made for projects. Oh my God, they were so bad. I don't even know if I still have them. They were that bad. I wanted to get rid of them so bad. But that's also evidence that I was also gonna become a YouTuber because I was really into that shit, even though it was shitty. <laughs> if you wanna go see a childhood friend of mine, there you go. And I actually, um, a little, a little tidbit of knowledge that I found out later from my medium friend is that Ouija boards are actually really, really insulting. Like, ghosts don't like them. They're, they're kind of insulting to them. I don't remember, I don't think I ever asked, like, why the spirits find that shit kind of offensive and kind of insulting, and they don't like them. Spirits don't like Ouija boards. So keep that in mind. <laughs> Um, if a uh, demonic spirit or a dark spirit gets attached to you by a Ouija board, it could be the fact that you used a Ouija board in the first place. Just saying. Yeah, so it's pretty much just just know that spirits don't like Ouija boards. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it for this video. Like and subscribe and share and comment on this video. I'm really sorry that I couldn't put more details in the story. I really wish I could remember all of it, but I can't. So yeah, I am gonna go. Goodbye, guys.